I think you, you, all, you all could see that basically, you know, we got back out of Sligo at um, came into Cork half three on Sunday morning, and obviously with the the, the travel up to Drogheda on Friday night, the game was so so um, important. No, um, it was crucial for us uh, to give uh, most of the squad a rest, and um, so obviously we left. Uh, I suppose eight of our starting team out really, and um, for Friday night. And but it was great to give all the other lads a run. Thought they worked hard. First twenty minutes, we backed off. Look, you'd see Birmingham are, are a good side and will have knocked around them, but we backed off. But then we started to try to push on a bit in the first half. And you know, Josh did very well and came in and had a shot that Collins Collins saved. And um, at least we took the game a bit more to them anyway. But um, uh, I suppose look at. We made a lot of changes. A lot of around the nineteen lads came in, and you know, they're only young lads and they're learning. But to be fair, everyone worked very hard, and you know it was it was it was well worth. You know, a lot of them are fairly tired inside the dressing room, so it was it was better than five or six training sessions overall. We're very happy, and I know they got the two late goals, but you know to be fair, um, you know overall I'm very happy that it was a good work for us. It was the most disappointing thing of the night, John, was the injury, the early injury again to Darren Murphy. Well, absolutely, because I suppose, look, at we all know his situation coming at the start of the year. He came in and he's picked up quite a few injuries and he was given the odd clear. And obviously we tried him tonight with the intentions of uh, looking at him for Friday night because obviously Dan is suspended. And, you know, for him to dislocate his shoulder so early was so frustrating because... I don't know how long it's going to knock him out for. Hopefully not that long, but I suppose being realistic, it's probably going to be another four weeks, which is which is a blow on, a blow for himself. Right. Oh yeah. Drahada. Drahada, yeah, yeah. Drahada, yeah. John Hardy's out the hook there already. <laughs> <laughs> Second away game in a row. Yeah, very difficult. Like demanding. You know, you know. You know. I suppose it's, it's a situation that um, you know they they obviously had a terrible run and. Oh, you know, obviously they they change managers, and you know we believe there's a new manager being appointed in the morning. So it, it, you know it just shows that they went to Bray last week and won three one first win gives any team a boost. You know the park is very tight pitch, and and um, it's going to be a very very difficult game for us as every match as I keep saying every week in the, in this league anyone can beat anyone, and it's important for us to you know for us to sort of um, keep our feet in the ground, work as hard as we can. Obviously Dan and Garrod are out. True suspension, which which you know, which um, doesn't help. But the good thing, I suppose, with tonight and and the last and even Sunday's match is that with a few new players come back in, it's given us options. And it's going to, be, you know, I keep saying it's 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 three points. We're top of the table with Dundalk. We just have to keep our feet in the ground, and it's it's important for us that um we we go we go with the right attitude. Difficult after come back at Sligo travelling away again <clears throat> so soon, but you know that's just the way the league is. And um, you know, again, it's going to be difficult, but um. Hopefully, if we perform well, we win the match. And the squad has bulked up a little bit, as you said. You need it now at this stage with the injuries and suspensions piling up. You do, and I suppose you see it, you see tonight, Gavin Cavanagh came in and he's had to get a game under his belt and, and we need him because he'll be in the squad for Friday. Um, unfortunately, probably hang on a knock there this evening in, a, in his, in his um, elbow and we don't know you know what the situation is going to offer X-ray, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll be okay. But at least Danny came on for the second half, and he's had to get him through the forty-five minutes. So, and and, and as well as that, then I suppose look at we've had um, Michael Maxwellie back training with us. He's been away for a year, and look again, he did well, did fine, and and you know maybe maybe another week or two's training, maybe we might decide to bring him in to the end of the season as an amateur, and uh, he might give us another another body because. Um, while while we while we bolt up the squad, all of a sudden you can see with Darren Murphy gone gone out and uh, you know a few fellas suspended. Davern got injured last week. He's going to be out as well. Just shows you like you know it's it's you need to have a big squad to have any chance of competing. Is John Finn likely to start or does he sort of to work on his match fitness? I think to be fair, you see, you know we have to be careful. I have to be careful because while everyone wants to see John start, including myself, you know he's been two months below the game and coming at the top level mm. over here now. You can you can see even even he said to me after slightly felt knackered he played forty five minutes so um, he's in contention to, to, to start whether we start him we we'll decide it over the next day or two but it is difficult and uh, maybe maybe it might be a situation to maybe gradually build him up over the next couple of weeks to before to, to get his, his full match fitness so um, you know so uh, we wait and see the next day or two. And the positive note, the younger Darren Murphy seemed to do well when he came in the second half tonight. He did very well in fairness to him, but again, you know, he's been out for a long time and he's just come back. His fitness levels are still a long way off, but again, he's um, a good lad, 
a guy we have a lot of time for. I think in the future he'll do very well. Still learning the game, but um, you know I don't see him featuring that much this season. To be fair to him, because he's probably three or four weeks off off fitness, and um, and then coming into games at the top level of, of Premier football here, it's very it's very hard. But um, you know, but again, young Ellis got a run. Keen Coleman got a run. Young Donald got a run. We had Andy Neville in. You know, play who did quite well. You know, but um, so overall, we're you know, and I, I think another big plus was obviously Kevin and goal. Tully was superb. You know, the first goal was a free header, and the second goal I think was a cross that just swung in. But overall, his handling was was excellent. His, you know, he was quite comfortable, showed a lot of composure, and um, it was good for him because he's trained all year without any game and barred a month senior cup, and uh, it was good for him to get most of the game under his belt. Would he be ahead in the pecking order now of Matt Glidhill, who's been sub? Nearly for the, since the start of the season. Well, no, Kevin has Kevin has taken over the subkeeper for the last, I suppose, six seven matches. Uh, he got ahead of Matt there, and Matt had been out injured. So, I suppose at the minute, Kevin has probably he's been on the bench for the last six weeks, and he's going to stay on the bench. And I think tonight was was good for him. And uh, Dan, a good workout against. Uh, I suppose aside, they were lucky to stay in the championship last year, but. New squad in, so it was a good workout tonight, was it? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, probably a lot of the lads needed uh, 90 minutes. Maybe not me, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> good lads got a good run out, I think. The, uh, the, uh, like you say, like the John was saying, I think the matches are definitely better than any training sessions you can put on in many training sessions, but you won't get in the same in the match. So uh, it was good, and uh, they're, they're a decent team. They're obviously technically very good early in their pre-season, so... Uh, we definitely got something out of it, that's for sure. Scoring flattered him, though, didn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think, that, like you say, uh, the first half uh, was pr- pretty tight. They they were they bossed it for the first few minutes, went a goal up, but then after that, I think it was pretty even. I think we probably shaded it on slightly on chances, and then second half was probably uh, pretty dead after because there was so many changes. And like I say, they scored from across, and then the last one was a bit of a freak goal. So. Uh, that's one thing I don't think you don't really look into the score lines too much of them games. Like I say, young lads got a run out. Uh Flinney got sixty minutes, which is great. Rob uh Lehan got sixty minutes, so uh like I say it's, it's it's all preparing for Friday night really, it's nothing really uh anything apart from that now. Like I say, uh it's probably more important to Birmingham than it is for us to result and uh we just need to concentrate on Friday really for three points. Speaking of Flinney, what's it like to have him back at the club? Yeah, great. I think it's yeah, it's obviously got everyone excited again. Like uh, when John came in the start of the year, it's sort of got everyone excited, and he's only gonna be a plus uh, if we can get uh, so many. Uh, like you say, we can get get him playing in twelve to fifteen games. How many got left? He, he's definitely gonna score six or seven goals. So yeah, you're just hoping that'll be the difference because uh, well, there's no doubt we're gonna 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 need him as as time goes on. And here, yeah, I think it was. Uh, Great decision for John to bring him back. You're suspended Friday. How frustrating is that? Oh, it is. Yeah, I think it's uh, like you say. I think uh, our our best eleven is as good as anyone at the at the minute in the league, and we're pretty been pretty settled. Mm. So it's uh, like you say, it disrupts it a little bit. But like you say, I think we we can deal with it, and it's, that's part and parcel of the league. Like uh, full bookings, I don't think so a lot really, mm. but uh, that's what it is. So get it out of the way now I think it's it's coming to that time of year when we're going to get the few suspensions coming around there's a six or seven players that are going to probably be uh, suspended in the next month or so so uh, we can get them out of the way now and uh, and if we can be in with uh, where we are now with 11 games to go we'll give it a great go and the injuries are kicking in as well then aren't they Darren tonight Earl of Devon's out on yeah, and Gerard yeah. Morrissey so yeah, definitely. Yeah, like you say, it's that time of the year. I think like Darren's been unlucky for the whole year. It seems like the poor, poor fella keeps picking up these injuries. They're not little, little niggly injuries. They seem to be serious ones. So that's disappointing. Groves a Groves a big loss the other night, but uh, like you say, the lads come in, done well. We got a good result. That that's all you're asking for, really. I think uh, it'd be uh, probably they're not great to say about the other lads that they're not good enough to come in which which they have and they've shown so uh, we just move on like I say so we don't really think about who's playing I think everyone's contributing to the team and all we need is another three points really and kick on from there